So bought a Generac home standby unit about, I don't know, 12 years ago after Hurricane Francis and Jean, maybe 15 years ago, I don't even remember. 2004, so yeah, I guess about 15 years ago. Anyways, uh, bought the home standby unit and uh, worked great for a while, but soon started to rust really, really, really bad. I fought with Generac, got nowhere, completely irritated. Um, the thing rusted so bad eventually, even though I put a tarp over it off season, it just it just fell apart, which was terrible. Um, they they wouldn't stand behind it, and now they come with aluminum covers, which they want a thousand dollars to put in. So I nursed it as long as I could, and just before Hurricane Dorian, it finally gave up the ghost. So uh, I got rid of it. What I wanted to do though was keep the automatic transfer switch still working, which I'll show you in a minute, and how I did that. So here's the um, panel that came with the system was originally installed professionally by an electrician. They did a really nice job. It's basically a sub panel with an automatic transfer switch inside. This is the part I wanted to keep if possible. Um, there is a manual override on the inside but it involves taking the cover off and getting in here which is not something I want my wife to have to do if I'm not home. So what I did was it took me a little while reading some schematics. I'm not an electrician so you your mileage may vary and uh, I highly can highly suggest you consult an electrician um, if you uh, want to do something like this and by no means take my uh, advice for any of this so um, please consult a professional I'm just showing you what I did so I figured out how to this is the um, that's the transfer switch mechanism basically it's two electromagnets one on top of each other they are AC powered they're not 12 volt powered there is a 12 volt uh, component to this that has to do with the sensing unit that sends the commands to the generator to start and also when to uh, switch the power over from mains to the generator. Um, if you are using a generator to feed your house you absolutely have to have a transfer switch or a lockout mechanism otherwise you can back feed the power grid and hurt somebody who's working on the power lines. Anyways all I did was isolate what fires the uh, the uh, electromagnets that move the plunger up and down. Right now this panel is dead, so that's why I have my hands in here. Um, basically there's a relay up here, which is 12 volts, uh, and also um, it has an AC side, and that's the relay's job is to uh, work with the generator logic board, which is way above my pay grade, and it's also gone because it's part of the generator. And that would sense whether or not you had stable power coming in from your generator, and after a few seconds it would fire the the switch and switch you over to generator and then when your mains came back on it would do the same thing in reverse all I did was put a toggle switch right here and this toggle switch is now going to be my manual transfer switch right here I haven't labeled it yet but I will one thing of note is the way this was previously wired from the factory the top of the switch the top of the transfer switch got power from the uh, utility side and the bottom of the switch got the power from the generator side which makes sense because this was supposed to be automatic so the switch would switch over back and forth without you having to come out of here that function is no longer possible with the way I have this set up I just wanted something very simple because I no longer have an automatic whole house unit what I have now is I have a, uh, a standby generator just on wheels that I've put, I put an inlet plug into the house so everything's manual now. I don't mind that uh, because I can get the generator out of the out of the uh, out of the elements, and I can change generators in the future if I want to. But I wanted to keep the function with this. So now, in order for the transfer switch to work, um, I only took power from the bottom, which is the generator side. Which means this transfer switch button will only work while the generator is running. If the generator runs out of fuel or um, becomes inoperable this will no longer work because it's not going to have power in here anymore in that case i could open the case and i could manually flip that down so i still have that it's not a big deal what i can't do is if the power comes back onto the house i can no longer this this switch will not work if the generator is not running because the generator supplies power to the transfer switch so in just a second i'll show you how this works i'm going to fire up the generator okay the generator is running and now to, uh, you'll see the switch. I'm going to move the button here. Right now it is in the up position, which means it would be receiving power from the utility side. Um, I have the 
I have the main to the house uh, switched off, so there is no power in this box. So just to show you, if I flip the button down, now I'm on generator power. If I flip the button up, it's back to the main. And I can do that as long as I have power on the generator side. If I don't have power on the generator side and I need to get back to the house, I'm going to have to make that, that connection manually by moving that black lever. Not a big deal, but if, if the way I'm going to do it now, I'll have uh, the loose power. I'll look at the generator. I'll come out here and flip the switch, and we'll be on. And then if I need to go back to the house, before, before I, I uh, shut the generator down, I will flip the switch, go back to the... Uh, Utility side, then I'll shut the generator off. So it's just a bit of a procedure. Anyways, that's it. I know it looks like a lot of wires. It's actually pretty simple. We've got um, actually. Let me fill the power, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, power's all off again. Uh, so just to show you what I did, each switch, each um, electromagnet, which is the black thing, which is what moves the plunger back and forth, consists of a very simple setup. It's a power feed. And then the other side of the circuit goes into these limiting switches, and that's designed to kill the power to the electromagnet once the switch is thrown, so it's not constantly trying to pull on itself. So you got to leave that in the loop. So you have a top circuit, which is right here. Here's your top circuit, and you have that's going to be on one of the legs of your switch, and then there's a center circuit, which is the constant power, and you're going to get that from the lower lead right here it's kind of hard to see but it goes up this is existing so you can find this in your panel this is going to come off of one of the legs um, the, I believe these are 240 um, electromagnets because to complete the circuit it's both hot legs come together in your switch make sure you have a switch that's capable of, of uh, you know 250 volts uh, which is what that one is so and it's the same on the bottom you've got uh, and I in here I had to uh, combine these two together because you have the one power coming out of the generator power side going to the bottom of this electromagnet and then loop back up to this one so that they're both feeding off the same side. Now if you had a double throw, double pole, I believe, switch, you could have done it the old way which it had it could take power from the top or the bottom. I did not have one of those switches and I really didn't want to get that complicated. So I just made it really simple in my mind anyway. So it's power from here to, the, to this magnet and also to this magnet and then from each limit switch to either side of the switch so you have a limit switch sorry you have a limit switch here you have a limit switch here and then that lead goes to each side of that and that's pretty much it pretty simple stuff I think here's the finished product I made a quick instruction sheet for my wife my work keeps me away from home sometimes wanted her to be able to come out here and take care of it. Transfer switches on the side. Pretty simple. Tested it. It works really well. 